Look at these Funko Style 3 Kingdoms heroes I printed, but here's the crazy part. I have close to zero skills in Blender, Mesh Mixer or Fusion 360. So how did I do it? AI did almost all the work for me. And the best part, you can do this yourself for free. No expensive software, no years of 3D modeling pain. Just free AI tools running locally on your laptop. Oh, forgot to intro myself. I'm Steven. Now, let's ask Agent K to walk us through what we're doing today. Hello everyone, welcome back to AI Printify channel. I'm Kay, if you're new here, Steven and I explore local AI tools that help us get real tangible results like 3D printing straight from AI generated designs. In this two part series, we'll show you how to first generate a 2D characters today, second, turn it into a 3D model, then slice and print it yourself final video. We're going from zero to 3D printed hero, literally. And since Steven loves Three Kingdoms heroes, we'll create Liu Bei, Guan Yu, or Zhang Fei. Your pick. Let me know in the comments who is your favorite or who else you want to see. So Steven, can you show us how we are going to generate a 2D characters? Absolutely. First, we need a detailed description of our hero. Instead of guessing, we'll ask DeepSeek R1 vOpen Web UI to craft the perfect prompt. Agent K, can you generate a prompt for Liu Bei in Funko Pop style? How about ask DeepSeek to generate a highly detailed prompt for a Chibai Funko Pop style Liu Bei. Include eye large head, black button eyes, small goatee, traditional top knot with golden crown, La Green Hand Full Robe with Gold Embroidery, the holding his iconic twin swords, ready for battle pose, round base for 3D printing stability, e plain grey background for easy 3D conversion. This one looks nice. Feel free to tweak the prompt if you prefer different posture or shape. Let's use this one for Liu Bei. I will share the description in below for your reference. A Chibi Funko style Lube figure from Three Kingdoms. He has a large head, black button eyes, a small goatee and mustache. Black hair is styled in top knot with a small crown, wearing a green colored handful robe with golden embroidered patterns, wide sleeves, a belt with gold lion medallion buckle, black shoes. He holds his iconic twin swords, left sword is red and the other is blue color pointing upward, symmetrical hand holding swords, pure white color background, he stands on round shape display base, 8K ultra detailed sharp focus. That's great. Now, Steven, you can take this prompt to generate the perfect Liu Bei image by using Forge UI. All right, let me start Forge first. Then pop out the UI. For the first attempt, I use Flux 1 Dev. BMB F4 V2 all in one checkpoint. It embedded VAE and clip. Then paste the prompt to reinforce good quality. Let's put the negative prompt as photorealistic, realistic face, blur, extra limbs, ugly, distorted, disfigured, text, logo, watermark, bad anatomy, deformed hands. Look at the results. I tried different checkpoints, lowers and settings. Let me try different models and LoRa's such as Flux1 Def FP8 or Flux1 Snell FP8 checkpoint with LoRa Funko Pop Flux V2. I also tried the XL checkpoint, for example, Juggernaut XL model with LoRa Funko Pop Stick Cell. Look at all these Lu Bei! A battle ready Lu Bei! If it's not perfect, you can try different models like a STSX style base 1.0.9 V checkpoint as well. Here is a few more examples. This looks okay. This can be better. Okay, I like this one. Nice! Save that, we'll convert it to 3D next time. In the next video, we'll dump this 2D art into another local AI model, Honyuan 3D 2 Low RAM, perfect for low spec laptops. To turn it into a 3D printable model? Yeah! Please share this with friends and until next time, happy experimenting! Before we go, if you have a better method to do this, comment below. We're always learning. Smash like. If this helped, subscribe hit that bell and we'll see you in part two